Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS on Dungeon and Dragon uh, Dark Alliance. Sorry. So first of all, we will start with uh, Windows. So look at your game mode. Make sure that your game mode is activated if you have the latest version of, of Windows. Honestly, it's really good to use it. Uh, for me, I have a Ryzen processor and I, I see now that when I play a game, Windows dedicate my best score to the game. It was not like that before with the old game mode feature. And the new one is really good. So definitely you should use that. Also for the Xbox game bar, I recommend to uh, remove it. And also don't use any overlay like Discord overlay, AMD overlay, uh, NVIDIA overlay. Don't use that. Uh, it, sometimes it's causing stuttering and you will lose FPS. After that, you have the capture. Don't use the background recording and don't use the recorded audio really important another setting that i recommend is right gpu in your search bar go to graphic setting make sure that your hardware accelerated gpu scheduling is at on if it's not uh check it at, uh, to make sure that it's at on and you will need to restart your computer to uh to apply it so normally on an entry level or mid-range computer you will have like a nice three to five percent boost in your fps and on an high-end computer, you will not necessarily see the dif difference for this one. Another thing that I recommend, make sure that you update your drivers. So NVIDIA, AMD, or uh, Intel, if you have like an integrated GPU on your CPU, go on their website. Don't use the Windows update uh, because it's, they will give you like a random generic um, driver to make sure that you're seeing your screen, you know, uh, your computer uh, send the image to your monitor, but it's not for video games. So really important, update it. Uh, Dark Alliance is a kind of like a big game. So normally they have dedicated the uh, driver for the game and you can get like a nice five to seven percent boost in your FPS. So really important to update your driver. One more thing is the energy profile on your computer. You can change it on Windows if you write energy or even on your uh, GPU. So I will show you how to go to NVIDIA control panel and uh, manage 3D setting. Go to power management mode and make sure that you're using prefer maximum performance. Uh, honestly, even for Windows, use inner, uh, balance or uh, performance. It's, it's really important on a desktop computer, you will not necessarily see the difference because normally it will be balanced by default. But I see a lot of people with laptop and even gaming laptop, when they plug their, their laptop to the wall, the computer is still at energy mode and uh, or eco mode. So you're kind of like saving the battery, but you really don't care because you're plugging the wall. So like you're using 50 to 60% of the resources of your computer, like your CPU and GPU. So it's not really good for gaming. So make sure that you always use like maximum performance when you plug in the wall to make sure that uh, you're getting the maximum amount of uh, power of your computer. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game, so let's go to the option first and we will go to the graphic. Uh, player outline, this is where you can change it if you don't like the visible when occlusion. So really depend on you. And you have the camera field of view over here. So if you want to see further in front of you, you can go higher with this. I, I did a test. I put the field of view at max and I was losing like 3 to 4% uh, in my FPS. So be because you're seeing like... Uh, more stuff in front of you that's why you will lose a couple of fps if you go higher with the field of view after that let's go with performance first of all you have a fps locker if you want so if you can lock your fps for me i, I don't I, I just put at max uh, it's more for people honestly if you have some issue with heat in your computer so you don't you have like bad ventilation on your desktop or you're playing on a laptop don't don't go too crazy with your unlock of fps because sometimes people think that oh, it will be uh, more fluid and stuff like that but sometimes the thing is for example you have a laptop you have a 60 hertz screen you unlock your fps you're getting like 90 95 it's generate like more heat in your uh, uh, computer and now your gpu and cpu start to throttle because uh they are too like uh, the temperature is too high and now you're stuttering. So really important, don't go too crazy. Just lock it with your uh, amount of Earth of your monitor. The V-Sync, I'm put this one at off. I didn't see any tearing, honestly. Uh, it really depends if you're using FreeSync, G-Sync. If you don't have that, you can definitely test the V-Sync at off. It's because I play all my competitive game at off. 
But honestly, this game is not a competitive game, so you can definitely go with VSync at on. You don't care about the input lag, honestly. So it really depends if you see tearing or not. Motion blur, this one, definitely put this one at zero. You don't want any motion blur in this game. You don't want any motion blur in any game, honestly. Uh, so uh, this one, put this one at zero. Screen resolution, uh, play native if you can. Uh, so depending on your monitor, if you have like a 1080p monitor, 2K, just go with your native resolution. This play mode, I really recommend to play full screen. I did a test with the borderless uh, option. I was getting a lot of stuttering, lag and stuff like that. So this one definitely go with full screen. After that, the first parameter that you have is the texture quality. This one I'm going with very high. Uh, it really depends on the VRAM on your card. If you have 4 gig of VRAM and more, go with very high. 3 gig high and 2 gig go with medium. Shadow quality is probably the first parameter that will give you a lot of FPS. So if I compare very high to medium, I can get a nice 10% boost in my FPS. So this one definitely you should start with medium and look at your game. So if you were like missing a couple of frame, honestly, with shadow quality at medium, you should be fine. So before doing all the other stuff that I will show you, definitely test your game. Look at the amount of FPS that you have because it will help you a lot with the shadow quality. Visual effect quality, I really like eye. Uh, very eye to eye, you can get a nice 4%. Uh, eye to medium, I was getting like 1% to 2%. So I feel like the, um, the good balance here, it's eye. Again, depending on your computer, I did a test on my laptop. L my laptop, it was a lot better medium. My laptop, I have like a 1050 mobile. So uh, yeah, it really depends on your computer. And if you see that you're stuttering and lagging when you're fighting, it's probably because of visual effect quality. So definitely lower this one. Anti-aliasing quality, this one is a bit weird. Um, you don't have like option like FXAA, TAA, SMA. They just said like medium, high or very high. I don't recommend very high. It's taking a lot of resources. For me, I was a good balance. Um, yeah, it's a good balance, but you're still losing a lot of FPS. If I compare medium to high, I was losing 6% of my FPS. But medium in this game, it, it, it's very weird. Like the game looks a little bit like... I don't know why, why, but it's kind of like blurry. Normally, when you, when you put anti-aliasing, the game is blurry. But uh, yeah, you're seeing some random aliasing with some blurriness. So I feel like eye is a good balance for your image quality. But again, really depend on your rig uh, for your FPS. Post-processing quality. This one I'm putting this one at medium. Uh, you're getting a nice. 5% very high to medium, but the thing is, the post-processing in this game, I feel like my game is blurry. Uh, it's adding some blurriness, so I just put this one at medium to have like some clarity in my game. So that's why this one is at medium. Foliage, foliage quality, sorry, uh, this one give, will give you a lot of FPS, a bit like shadow. So if you compare very high to medium, you can get a nice 8% boost in your FPS. But the thing is, with trees and grass and stuff like that, your image quality will decrease a lot, honestly. Uh, so for me, I is a good balance on my computer, but if you need FPS because your game is not smooth, definitely go with medium, but you will see that your image quality, it will not be the same. So this one really depends on where you are in your FPS right now. The last one is the view distance quality. This one, huge impact on your FPS, four to 5% for each bracket. Me, I like to play at eye. Uh, I want to see further in front of me. But again, if you're lagging, medium is the best way to go. You not necessarily need too much view distance in this game. It's not like you're playing a Call of Duty Warzone. But uh, still, I, I feel like eye is the best compromise in this game. But yeah, again, if you're playing on a laptop with, with the 1050 mobile, you probably need to put this one at medium to have a, a nice amount of FPS. So that's about it, guys, for the guide. If you have any questions, just come in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, so CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.